Well, this is chapter two for World Geography. Uh, it's titled, A Living Planet. So Earth is among nine planets in the solar system that revolve around the sun, which is in the center. This is called the heliocentric theory. We talk about it in world history. Back in the day, uh, early people thought it was that uh, everything revolved around the Earth, but we know that everything revolves around the sun. Also some debate on whether there's actually nine or is there eight planets. Um, myself growing up, it was always eight planets, or nine, sorry. Um, and then, what, a year or two ago, they declassified uh, Pluto and said it wasn't a planet. And then it seems like they changed their mind and, and they said now it is. So who knows? says my battery's low, sorry. Okay, uh, the atmosphere is the air that surrounds the Earth up to about a thousand miles. So where we're at right here, up to a thousand miles above the Earth is the atmosphere. And of course, as you get uh, higher in elevation, the air gets less dense. And as a result, it gets much colder as you go up higher. If you are jumping out of an airplane, and you're at a certain elevation, you would need oxygen. Number three, 70% of the Earth's surface is water. So of course the other 30 would be land. Uh, really hard to imagine, uh, especially when you look at the depth of some of the oceans. Um, just an amazing amount of water that, that covers the Earth. We'll talk about the hydrologic cycle in um, page two. Okay, the hydrosphere are oceans, lakes, rivers, and other bodies of water. So everything on the earth that has water in it uh, would be part of the hydrosphere. Okay, the lithosphere, that is the, the, the crust, the earth's, uh, the earth's crust, the part that we're on, uh, the land. So the earth's crust, land makes up 30% of the surface. Uh, many different forms, mountains. Uh, here's some fault lines. Um, We'll talk about some other features here a little bit later. But that's the lithosphere. Okay, the biosphere. Part of the earth where life is found. So biology, of course, the study of living things, plants, animals, human beings. Um, so that's the, that's the biosphere. Okay, this is pretty much uh, things you've learned, hopefully, some time ago. Uh, the three layers of the earth. Of course, the, the, earth, uh, the core, the mantle, and the crust. And uh, magma, when it's below the surface of the earth, uh, it's the molten rock is called magma. Um, if that uh, erupts and comes above the earth and out of the, out of the earth, then it's called lava. Okay, a fault is a fracture in the earth's crust. Um, we hear about, um, you know, that we live on a fault line. Um, the San Andreas Fault is a famous one in California. So it's an area where some of these, the Earth's tectonic plates uh, join together and there's movement sometimes and those are uh, called fault lines. Okay, weathering, process that breaks down rocks. Um, and we have a couple of different types. There's chemical where the water dissolves the chemicals in the rocks. So if you, you know, have water dripping off your house onto cement, gradually that's going to wear that away. Uh, mechanical, water seeps into the cracks of rocks and freezes. And we know that when water freezes, it expands. And so it can break that open. Water can be a very powerful uh, force. Uh, you put it under enough pressure and it'll cut, I think I've seen a video that it it cuts an eight inch piece of steel. That's really hard to imagine, but under enough pressure and a fine, fine enough bead of water, it, it will cut through it. So very amazing. Okay, erosion, wearing away of the earth's surface can happen through wind, water, glaciers. Um, a glacier, of course, is a large body of ice that moves across the earth. Um, so this is a, an example. This is actually two glaciers coming together and they go around that mountain. Um, 
There was an old movie, 16 millimeter movie that I used to show uh, to my class. And it shows them on this glacier, they have um, these large orange triangles and they put them in on the land, on the rock that's on both sides of this glacier. And then they spread them out across the glacier. They have a, a camera set up and it does um, time-lapse photography over a period of two years. And then you can speed that up and you can literally see the, the glacier moving down the mountain. And what's interesting is in the center, it moves faster than it does on the sides. So sometimes a glacier is referred to as a river of ice. And that is true because our rivers and streams, many times the uh, center is faster moving than the sides. Okay, continental drift. Uh, the Earth was once a supercontinent, and that was called Pangaea, and then it uh, divided and slowly drifted apart. You can see you know, the shapes of some of the continents and how they started to move away. You can see North and South America and how Africa would have fit into that pretty, uh, pretty neatly. Um, so one Pangaea, one planet together, um, one huge supercontinent, and then as they started to separate, they separated into two separate continents. Uh, one was called Laurasia, and this one says Gondwana, but I've heard it called Gondwana Land. So those are the names of the two continents when they first separated, and then eventually they would have separated into our continents that we have today, the seven. Okay, landforms are natural features of the Earth's land surface. Uh, surfaces, sorry. Um, so we've got this chart here. I've got some bulletin boards up that the students have looked at. Lots of different uh, physical features, landforms that can be found on the Earth. Uh, this one, I believe, is in one of the Scandinavian countries. Uh, you can see how high above the water that is. That's kind of a famous place, but I don't know the name. Uh, I'm going to guess 1,200 feet, if I'm remembering correctly, above the surface of that water. And that's the end of page one. Thank you.